give us back an NS string object that is stored in this value here. Okay. And finally, we have a way of combining the two together. And as you can see, this method here is a way of combining both setting the age and the name just in, in the same method. So rather than having two methods, one to set the age and one to set the name, this one will allow us to set both at the same time. And each piece of this has an argument. So set age has an argument, requires an integer, and the setting my name requires a string to be passed in as its argument. Okay, so if we copy all of that and then head on over to the .m file and then paste that just get rid of this Now, if you remember from looking at our view controller file, all of these methods, all of the, the code is within these curly brackets. Okay, so so this is the the method name here, curly brackets, all of the code in between. So we have to do the same for our method names. So we have to get rid of that and open curly brackets and it will put the second one in for free. So we do that for each each one. Okay. So now, in between each of these curly brackets, we have to put the code that will carry out our, our methods. So for this one, set age, okay, we, our, in our interface file here, this is our instance variable, my age. So we have to ultimately put a value into here. Okay. And the value that gets passed into the method te gets temporarily stored in this variable here, age. So in order to set our instance variable, which is called my age, we simply tell it that my age, the instance variable, equals the age that is passed into the method. So that's the setter that will set my age to the value in this temporary variable here. This is the getter, so all we want to do is return. So if you type ret, it will code complete for you. And then return my age. Okay. So that will give us back the value in here. And then we can write that to the screen, write it to nslog, do whatever we, we want with it. So the same for the set name. Our instance variable is called my name. So the string object that is passed into the method will be temporarily put into this variable here, name. So my name equals name. To get our name, we return my name. Now for this uh, final one here, 
we just com combine them. So my age equals, in this case, it will be this one here. So age two and my name will equal name two, which is this one here. Okay, so that's how we can create our own methods to set and get our instance variables. Okay. Now, there are more advanced ways of writing this code. Okay. Um, not so much this one, but when we're dealing with objects, so these two here, there are more advanced ways of doing this. Uh, but for now, the important point is, is more that you understand what a method is doing and more importantly what a setter is doing and what a getter is doing. So you need to understand those two concepts, a method that sets and a method that gets. Okay, and that's what we've we've done here. Okay, so we've created our class and now we can use our class. So where do we use our class? Well, we can use our class in these other classes. Okay, so in, in this particular view controller, we can then use our class. So in our view controller dot m in the view did load method. is where we're going to put our code for doing this. Okay. Now, the first step in using our class is we have to import the header file for our class. Now, you can do that either in the .h or the .m. Usually, we do it in the .h. So after this import statement, okay, click there and then return and then we want pound which is the alt key and three import okay and then we type in my class dot h okay and what that allows us to do then is then to access the methods that we've de declared in my class dot h and we've written the code for in my class dot m. Okay, so you have to put this in first. So if we go to our view did load method here, give ourselves some room. Now, in order to use a class, we need to create what's called an instance of a class. Okay, and you can create multiple instances of a class. So in this case, we can type my class, okay, so this one here, star my class instance equals my class alloc init, okay. So you start with the class name, which is my class, star, give your instance of this class a name, and that name can be anything. This can be anything you want it to be. There are certain symbols that you can't use, so you couldn't type int in here, because int is a, is a special definition, but you, within reason you can call this anything you want. Equals, double open square brackets, the name of your class, alloc, close that, space, init, close the brackets, semicolon. Now what that's doing is, first of all, you're telling the compiler which class you want to create an instance of, then you're giving it a, a unique name, then you're saying to my class, I want to allocate some memory space for this particular object. Okay, so it, it, it allocates <clears throat> It allocates space in the memory 
of the device for this object. And then finally, we initialize, make it ready for use. Okay, so this is a, a standard way of creating an object, allocating space for it in memory, and then initializing it. And once you've done this, then you can call methods on this instance. Okay, and the way we call a method is we have the the instance of your class space and then the method name okay and we've got um, we have an age and a name that we want to set and we want to get so if we do set you can see we've got set age and set name are available to us there so if we choose set age now it's expecting an, an integer here so we can type 30 close the brackets and semicolon and we can do the same with the name so my class instance set name and this time it's expecting an ns string and we know how to write ns string like that. Close it, semicolon. Okay. And we can also call our our double setter, if you like. My class instance set my age and my name. Okay. So set my age 40 and my name. Sorry, and my name, Eric Clapton. Close it. Okay. Now, in this case, because we still have these two here, this method, this double method, is going to overwrite these two methods here. So, for the time being, I'll just comment out that bit. And what we can do now is we can then print these to our label okay so we've got my label here so we could do self dot my label dot text equals and a string string with format And then we can say my age is, and then it's an integer, so we know how to do that. Percent I, and my name is. Now in this case, a string is identified by this at signal symbol, so we can use rather than percent I or percent F, we can use percent at, and then that will be replaced by any string variable that we we assign to it. So like before, comma, and then what's the the variable we want this to be replaced by? Now these were the setters, so what we want here is the getter. So we can say my class instance age, comma, my class instance name. So they're the getter, they're the getter methods. So this will return the value that's stored in the uh, instance variable associated with this method and put it here. And this will return the NS string uh, object and the value, the whatever's stored inside the NS string object uh, and put that here. Now you'll notice here that we've we've got an error, and that's because each of these has a opening and closing. Okay, 